Hey guys, welcome to my weekend project, Uprising. I did this for sinfully wonderful games, or sinfully fun games, and people wanted to see more of it. So let's hop on in. Um, guess who doesn't actually remember where she left off? I know, color me completely and utterly surprised. What? Why can't I move? Oh, okay, that's right. That's right. I'm so used to doing the mouse thing now with RPG Maker. A sudden alert from your phone causes you to jump in place. You feel a deep sen sense of dread, half panic that your sister's lab is a wreck and that she's been nowhere to be found. You almost ignore the alert and call the police before you read the notification. You can now connect to a new Wi-Fi hub. The name of the connection is Open Sesame, but there's a password requirement. You double check your sister's last exit and input the password. What the hell is going on? A lone syringe sits on a, in a protective holster in front of you. Perched in front of it is a small slip of folded paper. With a shaking hand, you take the note and begin to read its contents. A long, looping per precision of your sister's cursive tells you who the author is. I'm sorry I don't have more time to explain. Something awful has happened, and the company I work for is to blame. Take this syringe and guard it with your life. It's what I've been working on all these months that I've been gone. Do not let it fall into the hands of those who would use it. Read these instructions very carefully, brother, because they will save your life. These people are not messing around. They will kill you if they think that you are an obstacle. If you find yourself in danger, do not under any circumstances destroy the, circum er, the serum. Open the cap and inject the fluid into you. It's your only insurance that they will not harm you. I love you. Stay safe. I'll find you when I can, sis. There we go. You glance up at the you glance up at the trepidation at the syringe sitting on the di on the dais. Okay. With a painfully slowness, you heed her instructions and take it in hand. Your mind races as you wonder just what in the world you're getting yourself into. A voice breaks your worried review. Yep, I've gone full retarded. Freeze! Hands, uh, hands on your head, no sudden movements. I forgot I named him that. Oh, I should have remade this. Oh, well. Chris? Rachel? Because I remember, I think his name is Chris. It's your girlfriend. Both of you share a moment of stunned silence. What? What are you doing here? Why do you have a gun? I thought you had just... I thought you had just had your shift at the bar. God, she's gotten you involved in this too? Rachel, what the fuck is going on? Rachel lifts her gun and points it directly at you again. Chris, I need you to listen to me right now. I want you to walk over to me and hand over that syringe. Rachel, I don't know what in the world is going on, but you don't need to... Ignoring your girlfriend's command, you flick the cap open with your thumb and jam the needle downwards into your leg, like how you've seen in movies. By some miracle, and despite your awful logic, it punctures the femor femoral artery. I don't like needles. Hissing in pain, you dis depress your thumb on the plunger. The red liquid slides down into you with a burning mal mal malfiance. Words. Chris, I really should change his name at some point. Oh, we're going Super Saiyan, guys, or Sailor Moon, I don't know. Rachel's voice is the last thing you hear before the world around you fades away. That burning feeling erupts in your blood vessels and co coagulates, I can read, through your bloodstream like molten iron coursing onwards in a deluge through over thin veins. Every heartbeat sends more of it through you, melting out your insides from within. One heartbeat is, is it's like there's a needle 
being drawn on a string into your aorta. Two heartbeats. You can feel liquid fires spurting through your capillaries. Three heartbeats. Now your mind feels it crawling up your brainstem and in 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 you in in you t God I can't read today. In 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 you I can read it in my head, why can't I say it? In you in you dating mm, there are words I can't say. In you dating your very grey matter. You know what you are screaming, but no sound comes out. You know that you are screaming, but no sound comes out. You feel different. Change beyond yourself and beside yourself. You know that something in this concoction has utterly em emulsified you. I hate you, creator. But by what you what what you don't know yet, whatever you ought were, whoever you had been once been, you know you aren't that anymore. Your adult mind tries to parse out a strange sensation. What do you feel? I hear whispers. Oh! Ooh, what do I want? Like your powers? I'm going psychic! You feel nothing unusual at first, but then there's a whisper, then another, and another, and a hundred more, every voice a different one, to the point where you momentarily think you're mad, but then you realize it's not madness, it's awareness, like overhearing a conversation in a crowded park on a summer's day, but you can hear everyone all at once, there's certain their surface thoughts are yours, and you can move them. The knowledge of your predicament does nothing to quell the growing power building within you. Though the feelings are wondrous, marvelous, yet terrible, and their implications and unfamiliarity, you know one thing. You can't contain it within you. Meanwhile... There we go. Hmm, Chris. I guess that's the one lead that follows itself. Emma's brother, the file said he was just some bartender. If he's involved in all of this, I'll have to question him. Can't talk to him tonight. He'd likely ask about why I was hanging around Emma's apartment building that late. No rest for the week. <coughs> oh my god. That explosion. It came from Emma's penthouse. I hope I'm not too late. Hello. Is anyone there? Weird. No sign of a conventional bomb. The walls are still structurally sound. It's like a lot of force was projected outward towards the street. But nowhere else. What could have done this? I hope Chris wasn't in here when whatever it was went off. He'd have been killed instantly. I should look for clues. There wasn't a safe in here earlier. Of course. Come on, Starlight. Alright, I'm terrible because I wanted to make a bunch of My Little Pony jokes, but I'll leave it be. You should have thought to look here, there. Scientists should love their secrets. Let's see. All the lab equipment was destroyed even before the explosion. Now it's just a... it's just bits and pieces of glass. The authorities will never be able to find any proof of what happened here. Well, I guess that's why you're here, sweetie. First, I'm gonna hit that save button. Hit that save button hard. It's the computer with half completed form, with a with the half completed formula on it. I guess no one will be able to retrieve it now. Looks like the hard drive was destroyed. This is the epicenter of the explosion. 
For some reason, this area was left untouched. Wouldn't it, because it was the episode, it was, if it's the start of it, wouldn't it be relatively untouched? Because the explosion would be outwards. The blast must have damaged the bed even more than before. <laughs> no one's hiding under it. I was hoping to find someone who could tell me what happened here. I'm thinking we're going to find a dead body at some point. No, there's nothing really here. Can't leave, though. Chris, is that you? Well, that was weird. Huh. Well, I guess we can't really find anything else. Maybe there's a secret around here? Oh, hey there! What? Where'd you come from? Who are you? R Ra Rachel. I, I'm with the sp special division of. Shh, breathe. It'll be okay, miss. Miss? Falling unconscious. Gotta get her to a hospital. I guess my investigation will have to wait. You can already hear the sirens. Hopefully, she can tell me what happened. Come on, let's get you out of here. Ugh. Where am I? Well, what happened? I was... Your mind snaps your attention as you remember patches of your most recent memories. They come in waves alongside a sharp splitting pain in your head. Emma. You collapse, heaving as you try to catch your ragged breath. Your clothes is... Your clothes are tattering and smoking. Your ears ring like a church bell as you struggle to breathe. Sorry. Your ears ring like a church bell as you struggle to bring yourself to your feet. With gritting teeth, you force yourself to stand. Ugh, fuck. Stay away from me, you punks. I've got mace. <laughs> Where? Lodge between your cowardice or wash up between your short shorts? Come on, come off it, bitch. You're bluffing. Uh, somebody help! Shit. Hey. What are you doing, huh? Leave the girl alone. Well, well, look see. At this mommy cunt. You picked the wrong night to deal to deal with shit that doesn't concern you. I said let her go. Stevie, deal with these punks. With this punk. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Beat his ass. I'll bring the broad in and come back with some more muscle. I wanna beat your ass. I don't wanna say it, but I don't wanna beat your ass. He's unconscious. What the heck? What is happening to me? I need to save the girl. We're just gonna go this way. Oh, no, I guess we're not. Is this the way they went? Yeah, I think it is. I think this is the way they went. I am not paid. What did I just do? Guys, what did I just do? I shit out a force field, that's what I did. Can't do anything here, so I guess this isn't where he took her. Can't leave. And how do I get through? You know, a little guidance would be nice. No. It's kind of hard 
to do this when you don't know what the hell you're doing. But what you're doing. There's the console, but how do I interact with it? Why do you keep turning around to do that? Can I destroy it or something? Because this is kind of annoying. Oh, hey, you know there's contr there's there's a thing on the bottom I probably should actually pay attention to. That does that. That's not good. Oh! Oh, that's neat. Get out of here. Oh, I killed a man. I pulled the trigger, now he's dead. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that entire thing. Oh, that's cool. That's actually kind of cool. What is that? Glowy ball, are you gonna give me more superpowers? Oh, you're gonna give me a save point. That is just as good in my book. It's over here. Come on. I have su- I kind of wonder what electricity- I wonder if you can end up switching your powers out. I'm really curious now. Yeah, you guys don't really affect me. I do- oh hey, mid pack. I, I love how they drop shit. To the powers, though. Hope I can upgrade them. So that's that. What's, what's, it is kind of hard to see. Like, oh, okay. I'm gonna die. Um, it is kind of weird to see the uh, things to see wh how you cast them. Is it four for that, or is it nine? How do you cast that one? Nope. Darn it, I'm bad at this. It's a little unforgiving. Let's look at the options. Doesn't give you what I was hoping for. Okay. Save often, save frequently. I didn't do that, and now I'm paying for it. I gotta be careful. Again, I wish we could get like armor or something, because I can't figure out how to do the other ones. Oh, okay, we can just click them, so that's gonna be the easiest to do. Crushing waves. Yeah. Out of here. It's useful, but it just doesn't last long enough, in my opinion. go down here, or we can just go this way. I'm gonna go this way. This seems like the safest way. Hmm. I can open this door if I can find the switch. Oh, that is cheap. That's a little cheap. Okay, that works too for both shifts. Okay. Okay, that one's a little funky because it keeps turning to the side to do it. I don't know if the creator knows that, but now you do, man. Go away. Go away! This is actually an adult game, too. Get out of here. Oh, I have so little health, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna save he- Oh, I can't save here either. 
Oh, that's still. How did that still hit me? I guess certain ones can still hit you. Man, can I get some health potions? Or at least a better range. There we go. Oh, I keep hitting that by mistake. That doesn't help when you get right up on me like that. Ooh, I need that health. Oh, I need that health. Give that to me. Go away, my friend. Go away. Thank you. Give me that. Thank you. I don't like these guys. I'm using one over special. See, again, that, that keeps switching off to the side there no matter what I do. Ooh, a key card. Oh, it's, it, it, it'd be nice to have, like, a good controller support for this game. That would be really keen. Like, if there was an update with better controller support. Or better keyboard support, too, maybe. I'm gonna put the key card somewhere, but where? I'm gonna put always dash on. Me dashing? Okay. Oh, wait, there's a key input. Let's see, yep, I guess that's it. Well, you can't run in here, that's good to know. You can still use that, though. Oh man. Alright guys, next time we'll try this again. Hope you guys liked Uprising and I will see you next time. Bye everyone! Take my